right, so it's 1.20 and Mike and I are, uh, took off out of, uh, Bermuda Dunes. Practically drove off into the ditch and a crosswind there. That was exciting. And now we're, uh, up to 8,000 and we're cruising over to Elsinore area because we see is way out there. They climbed up to 8, get over the mountains and stuff. And now we're in cruise. I'm just trying to maintain 8,000 and we're letting it accelerate. There we go, it's starting to get up into its power band and chug along. Yeah. We'll cruise along about 90 or so. Yeah, all this, all this pesky lift is... This pesky lift is messing up our airplane ride. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all the way over the mountain range. For sure. Yeah, those clouds do look pretty high, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, there's Elsinore. Right uh -huh. Lake Terrace back in there. Yeah. So this is yeah, Lake all, Terrace. That's Lake Skinner. Lake Matthews is way out there. You can just barely yep. see the end of it. Yep. And Diamond Valley Reservoir, that's what this one's called. This Diamond Valley, yeah. This big one. The Minigoni is what goes around it. Yeah, there's the Sedco Hills just towards us underneath uh -huh. that cloud. See him bouncing around there. We'll go out there and go around and see what's shaking, and then uh, when we come back, we'll just see if we can work our way back with the engine out. And uh, if not, oh well. That Catalina I see way out there? I it think is. is. Yep. Here we go. There you go, big guy. Good. Are you rolling us out? Yeah, someone new. Going out back in. Lots of rudder. Lots of it. There you go. That's a ticket. Hey, man, take us to uh, whatever, and then uh, go to Santiago Peak. How's that? All right. No, you just wouldn't do this in a regular glider. You would at an Elsinore if you had the gumption to do it, but... up there. Yeah. I think it's breaking down. Maybe. Santa Paula traffic, white and yellow skyhawks over the junkyard, exiting the valley to the west. Santa Paula traffic. There it is. Oh, and a lot of rudder. That nice and We're working too hard. Yeah. Alright, you got it. That's a ticket. Man, you can really see all the LA Basin. Love that. So we're over Santiago, climbing about three knots, and uh, going through one very weird day. Super clear. I can probably see a hundred miles, and the only cues around are weird little puff balls down the coastal range here. They're cycling real fast, and it's a trend.
transitional day, though, I think, between uh, onshore flow and Santa Ana. Yeah. Go under that, do you? Yeah. I don't know, we're climbing good right here. I'm going to this. I'll go chase that cue, and it'll die off on me. You know what I mean? Look at this. It's popping there. I don't know what's going on. Really, you know, we hit the good little core and then out of it again. And well, something right here, but uh huh. One three four point zero zero two uniform. You're coming back up on nine again. Three seven five zero two. Thank you. Yeah. So we're out over Pleasant Peak and the radar towers and stuff near the 91 freeway in Corona. Real rowdy lift here. We're going up, but it's us up. Get up to nine. The blue 1631, approach 125.35. 125.35, depth with 1631, good day. Cody 610, contact approach 121.3. 121.3 There's a heavy up above us. He's a good ways out, though. Well, they're all talking to approach, so I'm not worried. Right. They can see us. Was that uh, 25.4 for 375 Charles here? 135.4. Well, a little over nine. Look at that. You went way past Santiago Peak. Yeah, we got a, a jet coming in underneath us here about 3,000, right. 2,000 feet below us okay. on that way. Now, they're talking to the approach. They're, they got a bunch of different frequencies they use. That's why we don't hear them. Yeah. They're on one of the other frequencies. Oh, I see him now. Oh, yeah. So, uh, this thing says we're doing almost 80 knots over the ground. 81 knots. So, we'll probably have some tailwind component going this way now. Wind 180 at 05. Weather is better than 5,000 and 5,000 at 5 at 1. Temperature 26. Dew point minus 05. Altimeter 29 or 88. Pressure altitude plus 1573. Altitude plus 3261. That was 180 degrees at 5 is what the wind was doing at March. Not what you would expect, huh? 100, uh... Out of the south? Yeah. All right, we're back almost to Santiago now. So uh, yeah, I think we're just kind of cruising along the shear line here. Just you know what I mean? Just lift. You know, it's slow down a little in the lift. There you go. Feel that right wing keep rising? Yeah, I'm bumping it back down. Yeah, well, actually, bump into it a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, okay. don't let it, because it'll, it'll keep going like this, and pretty soon you'll be going over there. Yeah, it'll push you out. Yeah. Kind of feeling your way along this. No, there's lift that where we were. 
And there's lift over there, right? So it's probably a line that we're we're going along, right? And it'll try to spit us out. So it's just like uh, again, it's that Helen Keller School of Aviation. You're doing it by Braille, kind of.